So my extroverted thinking uh, project for the weekend was to plant out my two garden beds that have been sitting there empty for quite some time. Um, so the steps that I had written down were um, measure and calculate the amount of mix that I would need, order the garden mix from our local uh, landscape supply centre, um, put a base layer of mulch um, from the uh, mulch pile that we have there. Um, I've just experimented on doing that in one of them now, as you'll see. Um, and move the compost uh, from around the backyard uh, to be able to um, put it into the top layer um, of the garden beds, which I was hoping to sift out the six sticks. So something that I didn't really take into account was how long that would actually take me. It's not even in the video, but to actually sift through that compost and actually just get it out of the compost bin took me a good 40 minutes, I reckon, just to get two buckets full. Um, yeah, so then yeah, checking which of the compost was better. I took, was going to take some from the front as well, but um, I sort of yeah, really felt that I had enough from the one. Um, and then mixing the top layer here, which is cocoa peat, which uh, absorbs with water, some worm castings, uh, the compost. And then I, uh, on the second day, add some sand to it after it's soaked overnight. So that's the end of the first day there. I was pretty happy with getting the beds actually filled. I definitely overcompensated on on the amount of mix I ordered because you'll see that at the, the front pile of the bins, uh, near the bins, there's still plenty left. So um, I'll have plenty to go around. So here's where I sort of mix the sand in. Um, and I was part of one of the uh, steps that I had written down was to sort all of my seeds into chronological order. But for the sake of getting the mission done for the weekend, I actually got seedlings to plant out so that it would be done by the end of today because by the time I got home today it was already 4 30 so I only had sort of an hour and a bit light left to in the second day of planting out the beds and I just wanted to get it done that's my son there so where's Waldo and with a chicken's help I'm trying to <laughs> there protect uh, the seedlings in some way from the possums and chickens but I'll actually fence so the chickens can't get into here anymore